Hi, the Kinetic here. Now for this video I'm going to show you how to use Galio's mechanics and combos effectively. A lot of people will say that Galio is a brain dead champion and I don't necessarily agree. He's obviously not as a high skill cap as a champion like Yasuo or Irelia, but he does have a lot of interesting mechanics and we're going to take a look at these. Some of them might be fairly obvious, but some of them are also a little more subtle. For the first mechanic we're going to talk about, we'll look at his passive, Colossal Smash. And this ability does a smash on the ground that hits a big AOE around it. As you can see, it's actually quite a large AOE. Uh, deceptively large, actually. Now, how can we use this? What I would uh, like to show you is what I call the passive range extender, which is essentially if you're up against your opponent and he's here and there's a minion in front of him or even just another enemy, so you, you can actually do? still hit him with the full passive. Notice how far away I am from this guy. I can still hit him. It's almost as if I'm ranged. This is mostly useful in lane where you can use it to poke your opponents uh, when they go for last hits. For the next mechanic we're going to talk about this is Q and this is also fairly simple. So here I can't hit him, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Q flash. Very simple, very effective. It's good for chasing people. And it's a very fast combo. It's very easy to use and you should just practice it a couple times and it's there. It's going to net you some kills because of how fast it is and how much range it has. So keep it in mind during your games. The next really important Galio mechanic is using the Q correctly. And now his Q consists not just of the tornado in the middle, but it consists of these two arcs that come out here from behind him. And they also deal the damage, which means that you can use them to effectively wave clear. Right? We want to abuse that we have this sort of angle and use it to clear waves. Now the best way of doing it, in my opinion, let's just flash over here, is to pull out these three. And that. So pull the three first minions into a group. Pull the three melee minions here. And then Q through them, hit the back wave, and auto attack the first minions. That's going to kill most minion waves once you have a decent amount of AP. I would say once you have Proto Belt and the Needless. If you don't have that, you might need to use your E as well to clear the wave. Another very useful uh, usage of these arcs is that you can actually use it to hit multiple people in a fight. So if, let's say you taunt somebody here. Even though you want to kill this guy, you can still deal your Q damage to this guy. Uh, and also it's really important to notice that they start more or less behind Galio here. So if you stand like something like this, you can actually hit both of, them, both of them at the same time. And abusing these angles here, getting good at them, is very important. And I would... I would uh, suggest that you go into a practice tool and you just place like three of these. Just see if you can uh, hit them in different angles, right? Hit them from behind, hit all three at one time. And just get a feeling for how this works. Abusing these arcs are a big part of maximizing your damage as Galio. For the next Galio mechanic, we're going to talk about his W, and this is fairly simple. What, uh, what it's really about is that Galio gets a large amount of damage reduction that scales very heavily with AP when he uses W during the charge and for two seconds after the charge. Now, get, Galio can then tap his W like this, and you get this shield of Durant here. What that means is that, let's say you're getting ulted by a Caitlyn or an Ezreal or a Jinx or something and you see it and you just do this. You get a huge amount of damage reduction. Now this has a 50% reduced effect on physical damage, so it's more effective against something like Karthus, Vladimir, Ezreal and so on. But it can still be used to save yourself from AD champions like Caitlyn or MF. 
I'm going to show you a clip later where I do this. So stay tuned. Now for the next mechanic, um, we have Spellbinder. Our Spellbinder and W go together really well because it means that you can actually, instead of slowing yourself, you can be fast. Really fast. Now I'm going to show you a clip of how to use this effectively, but what it really means is you usually want more than 50 stacks in your Spellbinder. 60, 70, preferably 100. Then you can use it to hit people with your W. Now, this is to compensate for the fact that you can no longer use your Taunt Flash. And I found great success with this build. I'm going to discuss my build in another video and why I think this is the optimal build for Galio. So now we go to the E-mechanics, and the E-mechanics are the most extensive mechanics that Galio has. And uh, the most important one is the E-cancel. So Galio's dash is actually two dashes, one and two. A dash backwards and a dash forwards. Now, you can actually cancel the first part of the dash so that the second part has a shorter distance to travel and therefore comes out faster. And you can do this by hocking a wall so you can see the first part of the dash does not go through, but since he doesn't have as much distance to travel because he didn't jump backwards, the dash is actually quicker. It's fairly noticeable. <clears throat> the dash speed is the same, but the distance is smaller. Now, how do we use this effectively? Well, there are a number of ways to do it. I'm going to show you a few good jumps that you can do to surprise your opponents. Engaging in mid lane. Catching people in the jungle. I would suggest that you go into practice tool and practice all of these jumps. It's very, very useful. Another really good one is this one. Standing at the tower, if they're trying to harass you here, you can actually surprise them from tower. And it's a lot faster. Same thing goes for lane here. If you're farming and they're trying to harass you, you can just hug this wall. Or hug this wall here, and once they overstep, fast combo them. For the next part of Galio's combos, we're going to talk about the reverse E. And I'm going to show you a clip of this as well. What it really means is that instead of going forward to hit somebody, you will walk a little bit closer and then you will E the other way. Now you will still hit them with this and this is really useful because if you use your E here and the enemy has a dash, he dashes out of the way and suddenly you're over here, you're overextended and the jungler could be here, they could start fighting back, let's say it's a pike, you E him and he just E's away and you get stunned and hooked into tower, right? You don't want that. What the reverse E does is that it has a lot lower range, you have to get a little closer, but you can actually hit people here with it, and then if they dodge it, you're out, right? You're not overextended anymore. So it's really useful, and against a certain uh, subset of matchups where they have these abilities, there could be something like Pike, especially Pike, but also Lucian and Fizz and Airy Post 6. Um, even something like junglers, like graves, and so on, it's really effective uh, because you don't want to dash too far into their faces and get killed for it. Yasu is also a really good candidate to do this with. Now I'm going to share a clip of me doing this against the Fizz.
The next Galio mechanic we're going to talk about is the E buffer. And what that means is that while you charge your E, you can hold down your W. And it's going to channel immediately. Now, this is useful for when you want to CC chain somebody. Because you can get the most, uh, the longest duration on your W this way. There's no reaction for him, right? And he takes the full combo. So really useful to do that. Hold your W while your E is charging here. Instantly buffers. Turret plating will soon fall. Now for the last E mechanic, which is in my opinion one of the most useful ones as well, uh, together with the E cancel, it's actually another form of the E cancel technically, and that is the E C C cancel. So you can actually. With the first part of your E, you can cancel CC. Now, a snare is definitely... You don't get stopped by a snare, uh, even in your second part. But think about it like this. If you're up against the Velikos and he E's you, if he only hits the first part of your dash, you're still going to dash away from him. The same thing goes for something like a Zoe. If she sleeps you just before the sleep goes in, if you use your dash, you'll go away. The same thing happens with Bard ult. If uh, Bard ults you and just before it goes off, you press your E, you're going to dash out of the ult, even though you're shining golden and you can't move, you're still in stasis. But you still get the movement, and this is really important. This allows you to get out of sticky situations where the CC is going to wear off while you're dashing. So you actually get a reduced CC duration and you put some distance between you and your opponent. Really effective. Remember, the first part of the E, even if that get can gets cancelled on a wall or by a CC, the second part will still go through. So when they change Galio's ultimate so that it would give his allies the magic damage shield, they also made an undocumented change that's really useful. Now obviously you can use this to save your allies from something like a Karthus ult, Vladimir, Katarina, all these kinds of AOE abilities, but another way of using it is, is this. So look at my magic damage shield here. It disappears, right? But once I ult... Yeah, you can, she can cancel that. Once I ult, the magic damage shield refreshes. Right? And this is really useful if you're getting... Let's say you just killed a Karthus or something. I'm gonna show you a clip where exactly this happens, or something like it. You just killed the Karthus, and uh, now he ults you. You're very low, and you can actually ult your teammates to save yourself. Uh, this is really, really useful. For the next part, we're going to talk about Galio's combos. And for Galio's combos, um, there are not that many, but there are some useful ones that we need to know. So this is the standard combo. And I call it the standard combo because this is what I do 90% of the time when I want to kill somebody with my combo, but I don't want them to flash away. So this is a complete CC lock. So I use my E. During my E, I buffer my W, and I release it uh, just before they hit the ground, so that I get the maximum taunt duration. Then I Q first, and auto attack. And then you can obviously add protobelt, Knight, and so on. If you have them. Now, the reason we do the Q passive instead of the... Uh, because a lot of people would like to passive first and then Q after, but... If you do passive, Q, that's really slow compared to just doing the Q passive. That hits at the same time, right? So look at like this. This uh, hits them when they're in the CC, but if you use your passive first, it's way too slow. So they can actually flash the Q and survive. 
the other reason we use Q first is because we want as many ticks as possible, right? It has this tornado that ticks them four times. And if we use it first, well, it's going to tick more. So, now, the other combo you can do is the brush combo. And this is when you can actually charge your W fully. They're coming towards a brush, you charge it. And again, the reason we Q first is because they're taunted for so long that they can't flash away, right? And we want as many ticks as possible on our Q. And then we can extend the CC with our E, hit the passive without problems. So that is the brush combo, and then we, there was the slow combo, uh, sorry, the fast combo before, and then you can actually also do the slow combo, which is... We charge the full duration. Um, and that's only when you know they can't dash away, or... Uh, because if you have Spellbinder up, no way they die. They, can, they can't flash away anyway, so you can actually do the full charge up there as well. If they're alone and you're not in danger of being CC'd, this is the way to go. So, now the final combo I would like to show you guys is the, I call it really the fast burst combo. I don't really have names, but it's what I just named it now. Now, it works like this. Let's say there's an enemy here, he's kind of low, and you want to kill him, right? It's an AD carry. So the way it works is you Q flash, you hold your cursor on their, f their heads, right? And you Q, it doesn't matter if you're close to them, you just want the flash to close distance, right? So you Q flash, proto build, auto ignite. Now this is a very, very fast combo. You don't get the W damage, you don't get the E damage, but it's incredibly hard to react to, and with Ignite, uh, it can usually kill a squishy opponent from uh, about 60-70% HP in the late game when you have a lot of items. Uh, it's a very, very powerful combo if you can pull it off. And if you're... Let me just before you do it, you can activate your Spellbinder to get even more AP. Let's say you had maybe a 80 AP stored there, that would be a lot more damage as well. And that also allows you to, because after you then do the combo, you can use your Spellbinder to move towards the rest of the team. So there's a lot of options there, but practice this combo especially to kill people really fast. So this is about what I have for you guys uh, for Galio combos and mechanics, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it, and I will see you uh, in the next gameplay video.